Hello, it's Patrick here from thegaragebandguide.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a sneaky workaround for one of GarageBand's few limitations, the lack of bus channels. What a bus channel essentially does is allow you to group several tracks together and apply things like compression, reverb and other effects to them all at the same time. Now GarageBand doesn't have this feature, so if you're working on a large project where you're going to be layering multiple tracks together, for example, here's a great workaround to do pretty much the same thing. In this project, I have two guitar parts pre-recorded. In this one, rough guitar number one, I started with a guitar amp designer preset, then fiddled with the amp settings, EQ'd it a bit and added a couple of plugins. Here's how it sounds. The track below is just the completely clean and untouched raw signal that I've just recorded. Here's how it sounds. Now, I want the two tracks to sound essentially the same, so I could follow the same process that I did with the first track and make the same fiddly changes to the same preset, change the EQ, dial in the same plugins with the same settings, which would work fine, but would take a lot more time and effort. And if you're like me, incredibly lazy, then there is an easier way just by saving the first track rough guitar number one as a preset. And it's really simple. Open the library tab with the track whose settings you want to duplicate highlighted and click save at the bottom. You can change the name of your preset here if you like, if you want to name it something descriptive or something that's going to stand out. But once you're done, just click save. Now, if I select the second track and hit user patches, in the library window, you'll see that rough guitar number one is available to select. And now that that's applied to the second track, let's hear how it sounds. And there you have it. That's how to use user patches in GarageBand to speed up your project workflows. If you like this video, then hit the like button. It really does help. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you come and check out the garagebandguide.com for more great GarageBand tutorials. Bye for now.